I asked you when there was no sound, how does it feel knowing you're both loved and admired by your core audience, but you also got a lot of people that hate what you're doing? How does that feel? I, I, it, it's humbling. It's, um, I'm, I'm sort of, I don't really focus on the fear. And I, and I think that then one of the things I write about in this book, American Muckraker, is the, is the sort of characteristics inherent in, in my colleagues and myself is that we're sort of very tunnel vision. So we don't really focus on those things. We know that they're there. We take rational steps to deal with them. But we're kind of focused on what we do. Some tells me it doesn't bother you, though. Some tells me you're comfortable with opposition. I, I didn't ask for the opposition. Yeah. Sometimes I don't understand the opposition. Um, but it's there, and uh, I, I don't let it affect our decision making. So, so would you call yourself a whistleblower, or a, is it a muckraker? Muckraker mm -hmm. is the term I think yeah. is best defined. Us, and some people don't know what that means. It it means someone who publishes information that the powerful people do not want published, versus mm -hmm. publishing information they give you to publish. How different is that than a whistleblower? Or is it is muckraker more? somebody who goes and recruits other whistleblowers as muckraker, somebody that goes against the institution. How would you explain the difference between the two? Well, I think a, a, a muckraker is a, a term, you, you know, historically from 100 years ago, Teddy Roosevelt coined it. I, it could be all encompassing. Hmm. Um, the whistleblowers that we work with don't, are not my employees. They don't, I don't uh, pay them salaries. We have people on full-time staff, but yeah. a muckraker is effectively anybody who can, expose what's going on, the, the real truth, the hidden, the hidden truth. So, so it is an element of being a whistleblower. It is an element of uh, somebody who wants to expose people who behind closed doors are playing essentially the game of, uh, what do you call it, the, the puppet masters. You're trying to expose some of those guys. Yes, we're trying to expose that with the powerful people in a world where the FBI and the New York Times and pharmaceutical companies and all these, they're just acting in concert. It takes kind of an independent citizen group of people that are just the ordinary folks to expose it. Yeah, and it's, it's, it, it, the, the, the concept of citizen journalism is on fire right now, where people are becoming the journalists due to this one weapon and tool yes. that we all have right here. I don't know if you saw this guy that plays for Manchester United, the soccer player. What's the guy's name? Have you seen the story with this guy, what's been happening to him? So this guy, uh, pull him up, Manchester United soccer player. Uh, 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 soccer player, it should pop up. Uh, uh, there it is, right there. Go to the second one, Greenwood, Mason Greenwood. There's a video of him and an audio of his girlfriend recording their conversation having sex. It's hmm. such a... Weird, mm. and, and by the way, he got fired, I believe. They just let him go, and he's being accused for certain things. He, she's saying, I don't want to do this, and he's saying, don't make me do this, and then there's videos of her bleeding with, like, you know, he hit her in the face, and next thing you know, they let her go. Meaning, this thing is probably one of the most scariest or most powerful weapons that we have today. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch, or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.